What's going on guys? Sharpshot here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, I'm going to be breaking down DVD's 7th year anniversary event called the Twisted Masquerade. It's pretty similar to last year's Twisted Masquerade event, but just to quickly break down the video, I'm first going to be explaining what the event entails. I'm then going to be explaining how the event tome works. I'm then going to explain how to actually earn the event masks. And then finally, how receiving those masks work. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. This anniversary event sells celebrating DB's seventh year lasts from June 22nd to July 13th, where you'll see an anniversary themed lobby, generators, hooks, lockers, and more. The three Twisted Masquerade items are back on the survivor side with the flashlight, medkit, and toolbox. And there's also a brand new 107% blood point offering called the Terror Misu, which is very punny. Throughout this event, there's 12 masks you can earn for free in game, six on the killer side, and six on the survivor side. There's also two free outfit sets, one for Nea and one for Billy that you can unlock in the event tome. And there's also four charms that you can unlock in this event tome for free as well. Speaking of the event tome, there's two levels to it. And on each level, there's two paths. The first one at the top is the community path where the community pools together to either complete the challenge or if you're faster than the community, you can unlock it yourself. And there's also the personal path, which you're gonna have to do like a regular tome on your own. And what's cool about these event tomes is that you do earn rift fragments from these challenges, which can be used to unlock more levels in your current rift, which is really nice. Now moving on to what you guys are all here for, how to unlock the 12 free event masks. The first thing you want to do is equip the Terra Risu offering because you're actually not able to unlock these masks without it. You can either unlock the cosmetics on survivor or killer, but it's the same way for both. Once you're inside the trial, you have to find a pill and interact with it and you can find these really easily because they're highlighted in a blue aura when you're next to them. This gives you one token towards your twisted skills where you can have a maximum of two tokens and you earn the cosmetics by having one token when either the exit gates or the hatch opens which means on survivor you actually don't need to escape just open the gate and you can actually use these tokens while in a chase to either block windows or create a fake pallet. Obviously the windows are more tailored towards the survivor side and the pallets are more tailored to the killer side but both sides can do both actions which is kind of funny because you definitely don't want to be creating a dream pallet as a survivor and once you've interacted with a pillar even if you use your token you can actually gain back a token by staying in a chase for 20 seconds either as the killer chasing or the survivor being chased so don't be afraid to have some fun and use your tokens once you finish the trial and you exit back to the main menu you'll unlock one mask at random you can play as any survivor or any killer to unlock these 12 masks. And once you earn a mask, you don't get it repeated and you can only earn one mask per trial, meaning you'll have to do this in 12 trials to unlock all of the masks. You can check your progress on which masks and cosmetics you unlocked in this current anniversary event by clicking on the Twisted Masquerade tab on the left. And in this tab, you can also buy last year's masks and cosmetics if you hadn't earned them all last year for 400 Oryx cells each. And also buy a this year's featured cosmetics for Fang Min and Ghostface. One more thing, make sure to log in every day for the daily login bonuses of free blood points and iridescent shards. And the Shrine of Secrets is also getting reset daily at a discounted 25% rate. So if you want to know which perks you should or shouldn't buy in those shrines, make sure to follow me on TikTok because I'll be going over those shrines every day. So yeah, guys, that's been a breakdown of the seventh year anniversary event DVD. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this event. It is basically basically a Twisted Masquerade part two event from last year, but I think it's still pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that's been the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. This has been Sharpshot, and I will see you guys in the next video.